grows all the way over to the donut place. Not today, but maybe someday. When you get a little bigger, and you can ride your bike without training wheels, or on the tow back. I need to bring one of my tandem bikes up here so you can stack three up. <laughs> okay, so Daddy Jonathan, president of the campground, just was talking about an equipment list. Hit that again. Okay, yeah, so if we could just hand this this tribe, if we could just hand this place the equipment needed to do some really fine work and maintenance stuff. Uh, I had had in my mind um, I-beams and jacks and uh, somebody was talking about a heavy-duty forklift. Yep. But, uh, but go ahead, you were talking about a... So there's two things uh, that I've seen. Cherry picker or boom truck or... Yeah, so if we were able to get just like, you know, like the utility pickup trucks that have the bucket on there, so that we could get up and start trimming some of these trees and also painting some of the two and three story buildings. That would be huge. But we have a lot of trees that we need to trim and lighten up so that we don't lose the cottage. And the other important thing we need is a bobcat. But we'd prefer to get a tract unit, one of the bigger ones, um, so that we're not ripping up all the grounds here. Uh, so we can push around because the, the ground here a lot of times is soft during the spring seasons. And the other bobcats will just spin and rip it up where track units are nice. Um, but if we got a big bobcat, when we have porches that are sagging or houses that have become unleveled over the years, we could go right underneath it with forklifts, pick it up, go and shore it up, and then uh, and go that way. So that's kind of, uh, that, that's two of the main things we'd need. Um, we do need some I-beams, absolutely. I would like to get maybe two 50-footers uh, or 45-footers, two 40-footers and maybe like three 35s. Yeah. Would probably be good H-beams, uh, preferably, or I-beams. Um, those, would, those would be absolutely essential. And then we're going to need temporary cribbing. We could get old railroad ties and cut them in half. Uh, so they'd be like dimensional lumber. So as you're setting up your cribbing, once you get these up in the air and elevated, um, you know, you can, if it's you put in leaning, your supports, you can turn it so it's like four inches one way and five inches another way. And then you can go and build up straight okay. and, uh, and do it that way. And then once they're up in the air, it's pretty simple. Um, the other thing we'd possibly need would be like a mini backhoe, mini excavator. And uh, that way, once the cottages are up in the air, about 10 feet, you dig out your, your foundation, your feet, your feet, and everything like that. You pour your cement, bring it back down, build a structure underneath it. And then you're up in the air, you never have to worry about it again. No okay. All right. So we're going to bang together an equipment list and come up with approximate prices for, you know, good condition used and that kind of stuff. And just like stare at that and pray over it. Yep, absolutely. Because, because the neat thing about this whole community here is everybody's so dedicated to sa saving the, the cabins and there's enough manpower here to actually train in setting them up in the air and it would be a really good place for other people to come in and learn and train and then you've got a team that can go out somewhere else in the community and yep. some, help somebody out with something. Yeah, it's a unique skill set that not many people know how to do uh, but I do believe that there are probably places around here or you know around the nation that could actually you know you could you could probably make some serious money doing that by learning this skill set. Yeah. Uh, Cuz not many people know how to do it. I didn't know how to do it. But I moved here about less than a year ago, and I feel like I almost could do the whole thing myself now, and I'm getting to that point. And so I'd love to train and have some other people come along. And Beautiful. All right. So that's another step on the action list. Here we go.